What do you get when you take Arch Linux, make it beautiful, wrap it in KDE, and in my opinion make it more stable than the last two releases of Manjaro? You get zero Linux. And that's what we're looking at today on eBuzz Central. Today's video is made possible by the eBuzz Central store. Show your pride in using the Linux operating system by getting a t-shirt or maybe some hoodies. We've got everything from Arch Linux, eBuzz Central hoodies. We've got Got Linux, which is a Debian theme. You can go to the last page. We have Manjaro themed, Fedora themed, Linux Mint. Pretty much if you like it, we've got it. We've got stickers, we've got water bottles, we've got mugs, t-shirts, hoodies, tank tops. So zip on over, check the store out, and if you see something you like, go ahead and pick it up. And I want to thank everybody for your suggestions. If there's something you would like to see on the store that's not there, please drop that in the comments below and we'll get right on it. So let's zip on over to the Zero Linux website, which is zerolinux.xyz. I'll be sure to include that link in the description below. And when you come to their website, this is what you're going to see. It basically says Zero Linux, an eye candy lover's wet dream. And then if you scroll down, it lets you know that the BTRFS and kernel 5.16 bug has been fixed. And then tells you a little bit about Zero Linux right here and lets you know that you can choose your edition. Zero Linux KDE is the main edition, but if you want something that's a little lighter, you can go to the XFCE edition. Okay, and they do have a GNOME edition. I recommend if you want something lighter, stick with the XFCE. And then if you want something that's a little bit more eye candy, you can go with KDE or GNOME. I did a video on XFCE, and it's actually posted right here on their website. And then if you scroll down, they do have rices and themes you can get directly from the site. And then grub themes. Now if you go back up top, you do have home about download, customization, my PC build, and then of course the forum should you have any issues. Their forum has been really handy. It works well for me. So if you do have questions, you can zip on over and get them answered pretty quickly. And then you can find them of course on Telegram, Discord, Patreon, YouTube. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna zip on over to the desktop. And if you download Zero Linux, throw it on a USB, put it into a virtual machine and boot into it, this is the screen you're met with. You've got a nice little Zero Linux welcome screen. Then up top, you've got a single panel. And down on bottom, you do have the Latte Dock. If you come back up to the welcome screen, you've got Start Zero Linux Installer, VMware Tools. It's a resolution fix should you be running this in a VMware. I am presently running it in VirtualBox and had no problem with resolution at all. You can fix Arch Linux GPG keys, start the installer debug mode, launch your partition manager, or update your Pac-Man mirrors. Now I do recommend that if you do install this, you go ahead and update your Pac-Man mirrors before you do anything else in the process. What I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and close the Zero Linux welcome screen. And I really love what they're doing over at Zero Linux. Dark Zero has put a lot of work into this operating system and really just shows you what you can do. If you got an idea in your mind of what you want your operating system to look like, you can really get it done with Linux, okay? I like the background, and if you look over here, you've got the Arch Linux logo subdued back here. I really like it, but what I want to do is definitely right-click and go ahead and configure desktop and wallpaper and see what kind of different wallpapers we do get. Let's go ahead and maximize that. And unlike other KDE distributions that you will see, you will see that most of these right here are all zero Linux inspired. So you're not just going to have the regular KDE wallpapers that you're used to seeing, whether it be in a KDE Neon or Manjaro. You're going to actually have themed wallpapers for the distribution you're using. You've got Zero Plasma, Zero Plasma 24, and he's got some really nice looking wallpapers. I'm just going to pick a different one here right off the bat. I want to go ahead and try that and apply, and then I want to minimize this. Look at that, guys. There are some great looking wallpapers included with this. So I definitely suggest if you do download this to give it a test drive, you go ahead and look through all the wallpapers because this does have quite a few and they're all really beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and leave the wallpaper that's up there for now. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And as you could tell when I right clicked on the screen, it is KDE. So if you click on configure desktop, it's going to bring up the wallpapers. You're going to have mouse actions, locations, icons. You can adjust your icons. 
But then of course, if you do close this, zip down here to the settings button. Let's go ahead and open that up. I'm gonna go ahead and maximize that. You've got your appearance right here. You can pick light or dark. As you can tell, we're presently in a dark screen. And then of course, if you go over to appearance, you can change your global theme if you choose. But I'm just gonna tell you right now, out of the box, this is one of the most beautiful distributions I've ever used. And it's still quick, it's responsive. It doesn't lag a lot. And I'm using this in a virtual machine. And then of course, if you've watched any of my KDE videos, you know there's plenty of ways over here to customize your system. You've got everything from appearance all the way down to removable storage, KDE Connect. There's just a plethora of different ways to adjust this. What I will do at the end of the video, I will put the video up that covers all the settings on KDE. It's about a 20, 25 minute video. So if you want to see these really in depth, you can watch that video. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And I want to go up to the top panel. First thing you got is your hidden icons, which have your notifications, clipboard, night color control, printers, lock key status, KDE Connect, if you're not familiar with that. If you do have a smartphone, you can go download the KDE Connect app in the Google Play Store or the Apple iTunes Store. And that way you can go ahead and connect your phone to your computer and it gives you quite a bit of functionality. So check that out. Internet connection, most recent USB, battery power, and then of course your updates. There are 91 available updates right now. I'm not gonna do those because I am in a virtual machine. Now if you drop down to the bottom, let's go ahead and take a look at the dock. You've got present windows button. So if you do have open windows, you could click on that and it would actually bring them up. And then you've got Dolphin File Manager. I really love the theme that they used on this. As you can see, it opens up. You've got beautiful transparency in it. You've got kind of a purple theme on your folders. Now these are changeable. If you don't like those icons, you can download other icons to replace those. But I think they're really nice and they're easy on the eyes. And as you can tell, if you go up here, you've got global menu out of the box. So you can maximize this. And then your global menus here. And then of course, if you minimize it, the global menu stays there. And you've seen me discuss Dolphin a lot of times before, but over here you've got your usual suspects. And then over here you've got your standard home folders. Dolphin's a nice file manager. I know a lot of people don't like it. I know that Linus, when he did his switch to Linux for a gaming PC or whatever you want to call what he did, he really did not like Dolphin File Manager. It's just another one of those cases where I have to agree to disagree with Linus because I really like this file manager. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Come back down to the bottom. You do have Falcon. It is an internet browser and we will go ahead and maximize that. And you can tell over here, your standard search engine is DuckDuckGo. So if you wanted to go down here and do a search, let's do something like eBuzz Central. It brings that up and there's my YouTube channel, Patreon, Utreon. So it does a nice little search right there and you're using DuckDuckGo and you're not using something like Google or Bing. I respect that. Now Falcon, I've enjoyed using Falcon as an internet browser, but of course, if Falcon is not the way you want to go, you can always download a different option, something like Brave or Firefox, whatever you might want to do. You've got your Kavanta Manager. We've got Console. Let's go ahead and open up Console. Now, the first thing I want to do on Console is go ahead and maximize it. And I want to see if they have HTOP installed. And it is not. Let's go ahead and see if they have TOP. And at present, I have 3 gigabytes of RAM issued to this machine. We are using approximately 800 megabytes at rest with just the terminal open. A lot of you are gonna say, boy, that's heavy, but really it's not for what you're getting in this KDE environment and as pretty as this operating system is, it is really gorgeous. I think it really out of the box buries anything like a Windows 10 or a Windows 11, and it's using a third of the required resources to do so. There are other lighter versions. There's actually a lighter version of this one if you wanted to use it. It's XFCE. So if you're looking at a lower spec machine, you want to give Zero Linux a try, but don't want it to be so heavy, check out their XFCE version. Let's go ahead and close out of this. Come back down to the bottom. You have your settings. You have disks, grub customizer, add and remove software. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And you do have PayMac. And those of you familiar with Arch or maybe even familiar with Manjaro or very familiar with PayMac, all you would have to do here is what I recommend is go up to this area right here. You've got three dots. Now on some distributions, this will be a hamburger menu. 
you want to go ahead and click on that and go to preferences go to third party and you would want to enable a UR support now if you're somebody that likes using flat packs or snaps you can enable those as well seeing how I don't use those I wouldn't do that and then over to general scroll down everything looks good there now what you would want to do is go ahead and close out of that and then you could come over here and you could actually search for different applications so if we wanted to look for something like OBS you would actually have to scroll down and find it but you see OBS 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 now once you do refresh the mirrors and do your searches it would actually show up top but because I am in a live mode inside a virtual machine it's going to kind of have them scattered so just keep that in mind if you do take a look at this on a USB or in a virtual machine. So we're going to go ahead and close out of that. Come back down to the bottom. And you have Thunar File Manager included as well. So if you do not like Dolphin and you want something that's a little less complicated and maybe a little quicker, you do have Thunar. You got it right down here on the dock so you're not missing a beat. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Let's come back up top. You've got your applications right here. You've got development applications. You've got your graphic applications, which is K-Color and GwynView. Internet, you've got Falcon as your internet browser. QT, you've got Office, you've got Calendar and Localize. And then Settings, you've got Add and Remove Software, File Manager, NVIDIA Server Settings. And then on System, you've got Info Center, System Monitor, System Manager. Utilities, you've got ARC, Emoji Selector, KCalc, KFind. So you've got a lot of your KDE applications right out of the box. But that is a quick look at the newest release of Zero Linux. It is the main version, which is KDE. What do you think about it? Is it something you might download, throw on a USB, and take for a test drive? Let me know. If you get a chance, be sure to swing by the eBus Central store. Take a look around. If you see something you like, go ahead and pick it up. And don't forget, if there's something you might like to see on the store that's not there, let us know in the comments below and we'll do our best to get it on there. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like, subscribe, or follow my channel. Doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we are producing, you can support us by becoming a member to the channel, buying us a cup of coffee, or better yet, becoming a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links will be in the description below. Thank you for watching the video and I will see you in the next video.